I'm, I'm in a one bedroom flat with a, a two year old and a husband. <laughs> Um, and then COVID came along and now we have to also make this one bedroom flat that is already too small for us, uh, a work from home space for two adults working from home. From a personal situation point of view, I'm uh, now a very happy parent after being told I couldn't become a parent. Um, and then I had a spontaneous pregnancy, which was just the most amazing thing ever to happen. Um, but I'm, I'm in a one bedroom flat with a, a two year old, you know, a two year old they're quite able at the moment he can't get out of his cot but that that's going to happen soon he's going to be able to get out and his bedroom is our lounge which is also one of our workspaces and it's our everything space everything happens in that room how do I baby proof that room he's going to be able to get out of there in the middle of the night if he so chooses and do whatever he wants it's this is just so inappropriate what is happening um so it was difficult to sell anyway because of the issues around leaseholds and that was before ESW1. ESW1 has now stopped any possibility of selling here. So we went through a bit of a grieving process, probably a good couple of weeks of genuinely going through the stages of grief, realizing that we're stuck here. We can't move. We can't give our son space. We can't give ourselves space to grow and learn and develop and have, um, you know, pursue our hobbies or interests. We have nothing. We have no room for any of that here. Um, the bills that are going to come our way are untold, um, you know, 10, 20 grand. I don't know. It doesn't sound that much compared with other blocks that have got the Grenfell high rise cladding awful things on. I mean, that's bad. This is a low rise building, low risk. We can all evacuate easily. And yet I'm still facing huge bills and unsellability. On Twitter, there's a couple of fire and safety experts that I've consulted with, you know, obviously they've done this free of charge and they're, they're very um, highly trained people and they've given sort of opinions or clarify things for me and bless them, they're, they're just doing that out of the, because they understand what a problem it is for us non-experts, um, accessing expert advice and, and we want expert advice that we don't have to seek through um, a bias medium like through our freeholder or anything like that.